All right, shout out three in the Aliable Discord for pointing out that you can actually export a fig file from Figma and then import it into PhotoP and actually make this process a lot easier. So shout out, and I tried it and it can work. And I'm just gonna show you how to do it because there, oh, there's also you know some quirks with it as well. So let me just go and do one I haven't done yet. Let's do do the profile page. I'm just gonna copy this and then you're gonna open up a new Figma file. I have this over here. I'm gonna paste this right here and then it has everything is loading in and then I'm going to scale it correctly because right now it's at 375 by 812. That's way too small for what we wanna do. So I'm just gonna hit K for our scale tool and then, then I could go and scale it how many times I want. So scale is like 4X right there. It's kind of what we did in the tutorial. So it's at 1500, that's fine. And then another thing we need to do is rename all layers. And if we hold down control and click that, we can see, oops, we should be able to see all the layers. Some of them have a duplicate names like rectangle, rectangle. We can't have that. So we need to use a Figma plugin to get rid of that. And so I'm gonna hit control K to open up the plugins and widgets and then search for a renamer, the one that looks like this. And then you can run that script. And then now it renames it all to unique names instead of Figma. Also everything in the group Oops. So that looks good here. And so now we can go and up to here, go down to file and then go to save local copy. And that'll export this fig file. We take that fig file, go to photo P and then open that up, drop that in there. And then you have your file here and then you can export this as a PSD, but you do need to do a bunch of stuff first. For example, so we still need to ungroup everything as well. So control shift G to ungroup. And then you have to do that and menu select all these groups here, It'll obtain the butt, but uh, there is no better way to do it. So just control shift G to to ungroup everything here. And then sometimes you have to hit it multiple times for me, but I'm just clicking and control shift G. If there's a better way, please let me know. But this is what we need to do for this. Um, sometimes I also, my buttons are like sticky too. So I'm done with this, I'll cut back. All right, we have everything out of our group right now. And don't click off this page right now or it'll start making groups by itself for some reason. No idea why. If you wanna adjust any text right now, I would do this. So now, because what we need to do in order to export this correctly is that we need to rasterize all these layers. I don't know if you need to rasterize the text individually and the text I think might be fine, but uh, it's hard to just select all. So maybe do that. And then it's gonna be rasterized when we import it into Resolve anyway. So it doesn't really matter. So we highlight all those, right click it, rasterize. And so now all that stuff will be converted into pixel space. And then now we can go over to file, go to export, or we can go to save more and then go to save PSD. I know there's one up there, but have other here if we want. And then we can save and it'll handle that PSD. We go to resolve, we open up Fusion, we import our PSD, select it, open, and then everything looks good. Pause, here we go. So yeah, everything looks good for the most part. There are some like weird vectorized things where it can't do like the gradient. So it just puts like a vector there. Sometimes it gets rid of the background. So you might need to replace that with your own color. For example, it doesn't do like the, the gradient circle. So you might need to replace that as well. But for unlimited exports, you know, this might be your solution and you just you know of course you replace all the other text as well with the text nodes and then um sometimes it you know it doesn't get some vector stuff right as well i remember i did with the instagram logo and didn't come out right as either but um you know this is just another solution that you can have in your workspace if you have maybe something simple or maybe a ui that doesn't mess up this might be an easier process to do also it is not limited to only being on windows you can also do it on mac so Awesome. I would go and watch this SVG or vector snapshot tutorial on how to use that and then how you can convert stuff into SVGs. And then I saw this video, I go over um, how to turn those SVGs from polygons into the shape nodes with another script that you can all use for free. So that's, that's go and use that if you want to have a certain part that is vectorized and stuff like that. Also, you know, probably I'm not sure if it will render faster if you do it that way, but yeah, go look at that solution as well. Otherwise, I don't know of at the moment how you can import in stuff as text nodes or as SVGs, and then you have edit, edit it correctly. If it's coming in as a PSD file, you might need to do it separately. Who knows? There was also that one video by this guy that copied everything in as SVG. So if you have just like MoGraph stuff or stuff Stuff that's purely in vector space you might need to do that as well but yeah that was for affinity yeah hope this helps